Matty, congratulations. One year contract extension signed. Your immediate reaction to that must be pleased. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Obviously, we're not playing much game time last year, and obviously, it's a worrying time when it comes to the end of the season, you're not knowing, you're not playing. But then to get the call to say I've got another year is obviously very relieving for me, me obviously, me and my family. You mentioned the fact that you've not played perhaps as much as you'd wanted to last season. How encouraging is it to uh, have that been the case, but to have still earned yourself a professional contract for next year? I feel like obviously I've done when I've played. I feel like I've shown why I should get a new contract and that I've got more to come from me. Obviously I've played, I think it was three, but I must have done enough to earn a new deal, which obviously is pleasing to look going forward. How determined does it make you, the fact that you, you are wanting more game time, you are determined to push on and, and push forward, but the fact that you do feel you have something to offer when you're in the team, I suppose it's a big, big year for you in that sense. Definitely, yeah, I need, I need a good year of playing and proving to the club and the fans why I should be in the starting eleven in the first place. How much does it mean to you? We are actually sat in the seat now that you used to sit in when you came as a, as a Bradford City supporter all them years ago. It must be good to represent your hometown club. Definitely, yeah, we're obviously watching when I was younger and growing up watching this seat. It's, it's obviously playing in front of the fans on the back and someone else is sat in my seat and showing to me why I should be playing and why I love this club. A new manager in for this season, it's been obviously highly documented. Derek Adams, how exciting is that for you? How much are you looking forward to working under him? Yeah, I've spoke to him in, uh, previously when, about when I left my previous club and I had a phone call with him and for some certain reasons it never worked out. But obviously now he's joined us, it's a big boost for me now. Knowing he's interested, he liked me in the previous. So hopefully I can still obviously give me the opportunity to play. You mentioned just there how encouraging is it, I suppose, a new manager coming in, you already have a kind of relationship established with him already, you already know he's keen on you as a footballer, it must be all standing you in good stead going into an important season. Yeah, definitely, if, he, if, if he's got the belief in me then, I feel, feel like I need to believe in myself and then I can play well when I get the chance to play. Supporters, we're hoping we'll be back in here next season. I suppose it's been a difficult year for all involved, really, without anybody in. But how much of a boost will that hopefully give us back out here at Valley Parade? Definitely, the fans are brilliant here. Obviously, everyone knows that we've got two tickets on two weeks and we've already got 6,000. That shows how, the club, how big the club is, really. And for the players, when we, when we need the fans, at least to be here this year to get behind us. We've mentioned it's a big year for you. Have you seen over the course of the past six months while you've been here that the, the pathway the club is on, the ambition that we have to, to hopefully have a successful year next season and how much are you bought into that as an individual? Yeah, definitely. We've, the season we didn't like, we ended the season that I would like, but I feel like there's enough in our dressing room to really go and put on the promo for this year, especially with a new manager coming in with his background. I'm obviously just getting more and promoted in his backgrounds at Plymouth and feel like we've got a really good chance of shooting.